Hi, my name is Mayan Shah with RVMax.us and today we've got a 2008 Four Travel Nimbus 338. This is the XT model. It's uh, 38 feet long and it only has about 40,000 miles. Now this coach has a lot going for it. It's a pretty bespoke coach. So uh, let's walk around it today. This one has been garage kept it's been meticulously maintained, and the condition is quite astounding. It's not perfect, it is a 2008, but when looking at it, you kind of have to remind yourself that it is, what, 16 years old or something like that? In fact, you really don't think about it. Thinking of this coach as 16 years old doesn't make any sense. It's a timeless machine. The body style and the way it looks is timeless. The face of this coach is quite gorgeous, a lot going for it. I love the angling of the fiberglass here that kind of lines up with the angling of the headlights. The headlights are pretty slick um, and the condition of the face is near immaculate. There's like one rock chip on it. That's it. The condition is amazing. And when you're looking at this coach in the sun right now, I happen to be real close to it. The paint is amazing. There's a strong metallic kind of gold copper color in here. Then there's a very, very light metallic kind of cream color, almost a, a peach color going on. Really beautiful paint scheme and color and the condition of it really is amazing. There's a big one piece windshield up here with an extreme curve. The curve on the sides of this glass are nearly parallel with the sides of the coach. And you don't really notice it, but it gives you this amazing perspective out of the front of the coach. The front amber lights have been made into the fiberglass up there. So not like all the other buses out there that have those typical uh, amber lights that are sitting on top of the fiberglass. These have actually been made part of the body styling. Uh, the mirrors are in excellent shape. We've got chrome mirrors. Both of them look great. Great visibility out of these mirrors. One thing about this coach, the first time we had it, because we sold this coach once before in the past, um, we've known where this guy's been. Um, we took this all the way up to Washington, D.C. from Greenville, South Carolina. Um, and then the customer we sold it to afterwards um, put a couple thousand miles on it uh, themselves. So I think it had about 35,000 miles when we first sold it and now it's got about 41,000, just under 41,000. Up front, there is a 10,000 watt Onan quiet diesel generator, which is on a hydraulic slide. You just click this little button and out it pops only has 664 hours on it. Let's go ahead and fire it up. No prime. Generator hasn't been run in a little while. Um, in a little while, I mean by probably a couple weeks. And uh, runs beautifully. It's a great generator. And the beautiful thing I always like about these bigger Onan generators is they're not gonna fluctuate revs like you get in the, lar the smaller generators. If you put a load on a smaller generator, it's gonna rev up and rev down. Not a big deal, but it is kind of nice just having one generator noise the whole time consistently. But having that generator slide is really nice. Having the big 10,000 watt uh, Onan is quite nice as well. You can run pretty much everything you want plus some in the coach. Now this compartment right here is a storage compartment. We've got our windshield wiper fluid up there and a couple little accessories that go with the coach. These Toyo tires were installed new right before we sold it. So they are not very old at all. They're fresh Toyo tires um, and they only have about four or 5,000 miles on them. Now this coach has 295.80 size tires all around. So big beefy tires on the coach, beautiful polished alcohol aluminum wheels. And this has, um, for travel, custom-made travel ride suspension and chassis. They don't make this chassis anymore. Um, for travel is kind of cheaped out, in my opinion anyways. Um, and this is a generation that a lot of enthusiasts look at as the best generation of for travel. 
Yes, that's up to argument. Yes, there's pros and cons to them all. But I can attest to the sheer quality of how this coach was built and how it feels on the road. But this has four airbags per axle. So there's two bags for this wheel, two bags for the other wheel, four airbags for the rear dualies. Um, so eight in total, outboard mounted. And it's also a true semi-monocoque chassis, so much stiffer chassis than your typical chassis, which means the whole body creaks less, flexes less, and overall just gives you a much better, quieter, more comfortable ride. Now, when Kai and I were in a campground visiting my grandparents in North Carolina, Raleigh, Cary, we were actually in the fairgrounds um, in Raleigh or wherever, uh, I had someone ask me, I was out dumping the tanks or doing something, and someone asked me if the coach had any slides. Because this floor plan is so great, you don't need to open slides to enjoy it. And Kai and I didn't at that, we stayed a couple nights and we didn't have the slides open at all. I didn't care, there was plenty of space inside without it. But they asked me if I had any slides because looking at the coach, especially from this angle, kind of towards the front where they were standing, you can't tell it has slides. There's no toppers, it has air seals on it, and they're perfectly flush. The surface is exactly the same. There's just literally just a tiny little gap. And the condition around here, there's absolutely no DLAM around these corners. That's something you gotta watch out on four travels. It's under and around um, the slides. They have these beautiful uh, curved slide outs because of the air seal. And the air seals work great. They inflate, deflate with no problem. Um, and the accessory compressor works great too. So there's no leaks, seals are great. Um, they were actually replaced um, at one point. Uh, we've got a bunch of service records in the coach, but anyways, there is a little bit of paint imperfections going on at the top of this slide. Very minor. This is a 2008. Um, and let's go ahead and open these compartments. By the way, we've got these very nice docking lights. They're pretty slick too. You kind of don't see them, but they're molded into here. Um, kind of like the amber lights in the front. Now right here, we've got dual, we've got access to our dual fillable fuel tank. It's a big fuel tank, I believe it's 150 gallons. And then we've got two 8D massive size batteries, which we put in brand new. Um, so these are fresh. They were put on at the same time as the new tires work. Um, so they're not brand new, but they're pretty close to brand new, they're pretty fresh. Now right here, we've got our inverter compartment. We've got our accessory air pump back there. We've got slide out controls. The slides are built by HWH, but we've got a 2000 watt inverter here. Um, we've got our 50,000 BTU Oasis hydronic heating system right over here, which gives you furnace heat and hot water. And it has two electric elements in it for a high and low, making a total of 3000 watts of electric element power to heat water and get furnace heat. And let me tell you, just off electric, this system kicks butt. You turn the burner on, forget it. Um, but really, you could get away with using electric. You never have to burn any fuel for furnace or hot water in this coach if you don't want to. Um, up top, there's an automatic transfer switch with the built-in surge guard. Got a thermostat here with an electric heater and overall just a very nicely laid out um, setup here. You've got the hydraulic reservoir for your slides. And the big ticket thing about this coach is the amazing access to all of the components on the bus. This is a mechanic's dream. All right, let's move on to the next compartment. So this compartment is where we've got our full pass-through storage bay. There are some extra goodies that go with this coach. So that's gonna save you some money. Later on, they come in these mystery boxes. I'm not gonna tell you what's in there. You're gonna have to buy the coach to find out. Even if you come look, you ain't looking in here. Anyways, um, there are some goodies that go with the coach. Um, and then this is a full pass-through storage bay, as you can see. Deep drawer here, lots of space. Um, even though our chassis rails are running through the top, we've got cutoffs here, well-labeled electronics. Put that compartment door back in its spot. By the way, all the carpeting on these outside compartments are super clean. This right here is our plumbing bay. So, let's start over here on the left. Huge, stainless, finished, um, Moen outside faucet. And I love how long this is too, so you're not gonna get water all in your bay um, and on the coach. You can turn your water pump on from here. There's a push button switch to switch the valve from giving you city pressure through this hose to filling your tank. Now this is an electric reel hose, so you just pull it out, hit the button and suck it right back in. The same setup for your 50 amp power cord reel. 
You've got your pools right here to dump your sewer tank. And this has a massive, gargantuan 145 gallons of holding tank space. It's actually one tank for black and gray. And basically, I mean, 145 gallons, even if you divide it in two, that's about 72 and a half gallons per black and gray. That's massive, absolutely massive. Um, anyways, over here you've got a tank flush, so you can flush out that holding tank. You've got outlets in here, which is convenient. Um, and then this very nice little flap that comes down to let everything out um, without having to have the compartment door open. I'm just gonna drop this down. There's also a little storage up there and then a sewer, sewer tank um, dump hose storage compartment. Love that bus style door. Rear dually right here. Um, we've got one last compartment. Look how slick that slide out is. Just sitting, I love these slides. I just, I love them. They look amazing. All right, right here is where we've got our two starting batteries. These were also replaced um, at the same time as the tires and the coach batteries. These are fresh, just like the rest. We've got a second nice docking light. These docking lights are bright, by the way. Let's put this down. This is actually not our side radiator. This has the side radiator on the passenger side of the coach. This is just an extra grill, but I love how it looks when you're sitting at the right angle, you see into the engine compartment and it just looks sick. Um, anyways, so that's the rear. We've got our intake for the engine right there. And now we're around back of this beautiful coach. This has a very unique rear end here big, huge, highly crafted, molded fiberglass cap here. And I love the grill. Again, this grill going all the way around the bus, it lets the air breathe through the engine. And then on top of that, it looks insane when you're checking out the coach. Now let's go ahead and open this engine compartment. It has these awesome little pools back here. Um, take a peek at the little releases. They're very satisfying to use. Now this is our 425 Cummins ISL 8.9 liter pre-def. This thing is pretty sweet. Again, this is continuing the whole theme of the coach. Excellent access to the engine. There's a lot of space around this engine. You can easily get to your belt. You can easily get to your turbo and actually have space to work on it with tools. <laughs> um, and then you can get to all the computers back there. It's just a great engine setup because of all the access. And on top of that, there are two little, um, take a peek at these little things. There are two wing nuts here. Um, if you undo those, this flap, this whole grill here will fold down all the way down here. This whole thing will fold flat and you can yank the dang engine out. Now, how, how about that? You don't have to drop the engine out of a lot of coaches. You could, if you want, pull it out this way. Um, but anyways, 40,000 miles, 8.9 liter Cummins. You ain't gonna have to do that, but anyways. Um, over to the right, you've got your boiler fluid uh, for the Oasis, like a uh, Newmar coach. Air compressor was replaced for Dash AC. That's a brand new alternator. Um, all the fluids were changed. So you take the coach and go enjoy. Don't have to do any service. Now, this has an 18,000 pound tow capacity. It's gargantuan, especially for a little 38 footer. But it's because it's got such a tank of a chassis that you can tow that. Now this has the Allison 3000R transmission and it has the transmission retarder. If you don't know what that is, uh, you'll find out later on the test drive. Um, if you do know what that is, you're probably jumping up and down your seat. Well, maybe not. But anyways, it's pretty sweet that this thing has that. Um, here's our side radiator grill. This will flap up. It's on a hinge here. Um, so you can get to it and easily clean it. It's excellent condition. The condenser for the uh, Dash AC is also in, in here, and you've got a transmission cooler, of course, for the Allison. Now, right in here, um, we've got a new replaced air dryer. That entire air dryer was replaced, um, and there's some nice fresh filters there for the fuel. And again, just great access uh, to the engine. Just really great access. I, I, I'm probably going to say that a million times. But that's a big plus about this coach. Now, right here, we've got storage on the left with this nice slide-out tray that comes way out. We've got all kinds of extra belts for the coach. Essential. Goes with the bus. Again, saving you money. This comes with the bus. I slide that back in. Super clean carpet again. And then right over here, we've got our mana block 
Um, so this allows you to shut off individual taps if you get a leak somewhere. So you can keep rolling um, down the road without having to shut off your entire water system, which can be quite cumbersome. Now, if I'm going to nitpick, there's not there's minor nitpick things. There's a smidge of rust right there. Um, and you're just going to have that on any age coach. Um, but this is all in aluminum. The tanks are actually mounted on these big aluminum frames, um, which gives them a little more insulation. They're not directly on the bottom of this coach. And uh, it also gives them a really solid framing. They properly mount these tanks down. Um, these are not tanks that are going to move at all. They are really, really solidly put down in this coach. Um, now your water pump is up there on the left. And while we're talking about the bottom of the coach, take a peek at the bottom, please. It's all sealed off. It's absolutely beautiful to look at. You gotta love that. Sealed off, clean plates everywhere down here. And it just looks amazing. Minimal rust on this coach. This was a garage kept coach um, and it wasn't around salt. All right, now over here, bus style door. This is our main big pass through storage compartment. Got that nice tray that comes out on both sides of the coach. Got outlets up there on the left and also a Girard controller. You can put that big main Girard patio awning out uh, you can make it go out from inside or from outside. This right here is the back of our refrigerator. And then here we've got more storage. That upper tray you could take off, but it actually makes it um, more usable. You've got more space in there to use. It doubles the platform space. Make sure that's shut. And here is our propane tank and the other side of our fuel tank. So the propane tank um, is basically giving you propane just for the uh, stove top and the refrigerator. So you don't need too much at all. Beautiful wheels. Um, we probably could find these lug nuts. That's not a big deal. Electric step works great. Entrance door looks beautiful. Very clean seals. It's just a magnificent looking coach. By the way, all these windows back here are flush mounted. Um, which is something you didn't see a lot back in this era of coach, um, but you've got it here on this uh, beautiful four travel bus. So they look really slick. And again, just the side of the bus is so slick. By the way, they use a thicker material on these fiberglasses than the typical rollout material um, that they use on most every coach. Every high-end coach, like New Mars, American coach, nothing against them. They look beautiful. Um, but this four travel, they use a much more solid um set up here by the way there is some light very light paint checking you almost can't see it at all um, but i just want to point out that nitpicky flaw there all right by the way two docking lights on this side and back to the fiberglass it gives the coach this really special look the paint looks way glossier that's why it's shocking how glossy this is at 08 part of it is due to the fact that that sidewall is so much straighter and a lot less waviness and imperfections in the fiberglass because it's a thicker material than your typical full body paint coach. It's quite special actually. Um, anyways, the Girard awning is mounted up top as already mentioned. And this coach has a beautiful roof, um, which I do want to let you take a peek at. All right, we are up on the steel framed roof here. We've got a large solar panel. I don't know exactly what the output of this is, but I would guess about 250 watts. Um, everything up here is neat, tidy, clean. We've got our painted, matching painted Gerard box here. That's where the Gerard awning comes out. We've got our front air conditioning up here. Then we've got um, a tiny bit of clear coming off that front cap there, not really a big deal. Um, and if it does bother you, something very cheaply can be resolved. Most of the clear on the top part of the coach is in excellent shape because of its being garage kept. There's a little bit coming off here and there in the typical spot. You can't see it at all from down there. Just trying to nitpick this coach, all right? But the roof is absolutely solid, being steel framed. There's absolutely no give to this one piece fiberglass roof. I also quite enjoy how the roof has a curvature to it. There are a lot of roofs out there that are more flat. And um, essentially, any experienced RV tech will tell you 
and as is just logic, sitting water on a roof is not good. So having that little curvature is nice. Um, the mounting points to all these Girard, the Girard awnings, all the caulking is in very good shape. We do have a stationary uh, local TV antenna, so you don't have that old school type that pops up. This is the roof vent for the um, refrigerator. We've got our exhaust fans right here. Skylight is in excellent shape. Rear air conditioner shroud looks good. Both air conditioner shrouds are looking great. We've got an automatic tracking wine guard traveler satellite dish up here rear cap looks really good and overall this is a 9 out of 10 roof it is extremely clean the roof itself I'd, I'd, I'd give it close to a 10 it's not perfect this is an 08 but it looks absolutely fantastic up here you can actually see the top of your slide outs too and while they're a little dusty um, they're in excellent shape perfectly straight um, looking as they should there's little rubber seals under there that scrape off any debris that may fall on them as it comes in. And the slide seals are in excellent shape too. Remember, we've got an accessory compressor and that maintains the air pressure on those slide seals with no problem. That compressor barely runs at all. But yeah, overall, very clean bill of health on this roof. Coach with the slides closed right now. By the way, this has remote unlock for all of the compartment doors and for the entrance door. I love this kind of tweed material um, that's on the steps as you come in. And then the sidewalls of the steps are finished in Corian stone. Don't mind the uh, couple of things we've got laying about in here. But I just want to walk through and show you. This is why Kai and I, when we camped in it, we spent nights in the campground with no slides out. Because why? You don't need them. Obviously, the slides make it more luxurious and big. But this coach has... Um, the positives of, uh, it's got a double-edged sword, but both edges of the sword are positive. All right, so you've got great travel space, and then you've got great space when the slides open up. I love this bedroom. When you walk in here, it's just, the echoes go away. It gets a lot more quiet and peaceful, and I think it's largely due to this carpet. Um, anyways, and I think just the acoustics of this woodwork back here, you just notice that, though? It's just, it's really nice. It's peaceful, quiet less echo. I love it. And the coach smells amazing. But anyways, outside of all that, look at the space in here. You don't need slides, even though you've got two of them. And I apologize. We've got some things about in here. Um, we haven't even detailed it since we've gotten it back. This is how clean we got it. It's amazing. This interior is spectacular. Anyways, let's go bust these slides open and show you the interior and give you the proper interior tour. And then we're going to give you a proper um, test drive. All right, welcome inside with the slides deployed. This interior is quite amazing. We've got this diagonally laid um, bamboo flooring. I believe it's a bamboo, and it looks absolutely stunning, especially set at that angle as a classic four travel trait, and it's just a lot more uh, labor and a lot more luxurious to look at, and the whole feel and dynamic of the coach changes because of it. The upholstery is near perfect in this coach. We've got these beautiful front two uh, pilot and co-pilot chairs that do swivel around. The co-pilot chair is a uh, recliner. I love the color of leather in here. It's uh, not that typical beige or anything. It's a almost white. I would say it's like a cream white. Um, and it looks fantastic. I also like the wood panels like around the windows, like around this window right here. Got window sills that are made out of wood. The window sills under these leather accent pieces around these windows are made out of wood. The wood is this beautiful stained cherry that looks amazing. And the ceiling has um, this cherry wood going around this designer piece in the ceiling. These are leather colored pieces, um, different colors on them. Got that cream white again and then a black leather up there. If I'm going to nitpick the coach, we like to show what we've got. There are a couple little cracks in this um, reflective mirror glass thing up there. Honestly, you don't really notice. It almost looks like a design. This couch right here is actually a jackknife couch. And then underneath, you've got a pull-out drawer. Now, this is all villa furniture. So top-notch, made-in-California furniture. Really nice upholstery. I love the wood around this dinette here. It looks amazing. There's storage everywhere. Um, got a nice, big, comfortable recliner here. 
And this coach has this half inch thick Corian countertopping everywhere in it. And it looks amazing. It looks so much thicker and the way it curves around is just gorgeous. There's a bunch of outlets all around the coach. There's storage underneath this. There's a heat exchanger down there um, because of course we've got an Oasis uh, boiler system for our furnace system and our hot water. And remember, you can run that system off of 3000 watts of electric power. And when Kaya and I were camping um, up in DC, it was frigid and we didn't even need to turn the burner on. Um, you know, the burner, you can use it if you want that extra hot water. That's probably when you turn the burner on is if you're camping in the cold, you're using the furnace and then you're about to take a couple showers, you probably kick the burner on then, but you can get away with never having to use the burner if you don't want to. Really nice. Now up in this beautiful woodwork, we've got recessed lighting up there. Just really classically well-built uh, cabinetry solid wood it's got sort of a matte glaze to it um, that cherry is absolutely beautiful and look at that curved edge really thick half inch corian countertops here and i love how these little extra cubby holes of storage space they kind of come out and then open so look at this it comes out and then it opens but it's nice that they added this because normally you don't have anything in this area because you've got this huge double stainless sink um, but they did give you these extra little pieces here huge amount of storage down below there's a large trash can right here but look how big that is and also look how clean the carpet is in there absolutely amazing let me stick this trash can this trash can fits perfectly in here it's a perfect little trash can it goes with the coach now over here you've got this huge opening to the same compartment absolutely massive I mean, that carpet is mint, and that's a rare thing because a lot of times things spill down there. And what's cool is this um, designer faucet here actually is extra filtered. There's an extra filter down there for this water, and this is a touch faucet. So you see how it lights up there? That's all you do to turn it off and on. Occasionally you have to replace the batteries. Now, as mentioned, this is a big, beautiful dual stainless sink. It's a, um, I believe it's a Moen sink looks nice looks very nice these corian pieces are not too heavy sometimes these are super dense big countertop space here love the amount of space here and uh i love this princess stovetop high-end monaco's came with the same types of stovetop it just feels more like a household burner um, and much easier and just nicer to use it doesn't feel like you've got a little stove top that you'd use at a tent campsite it actually feels like a high-end house or something like that now down below i love these drawers it's got these very huge drawers look how big this is kai could probably fit in here she probably, probably could <laughs> and then you got another one down below and then there's four extra drawers right there and again the wood finishes here are absolutely perfect Everything in here is in really good condition. There's minor little nitpicky flaws here and there. Um, it's not a brand new coach. Um, but honestly, for the most part, the coach will make you think that it's brand new. Anyways, there's a little bit of wear on these cabinets here just from the heat coming out of the microwave. Not a big deal at all. Very minor. Honestly, the first time we had this coach, I didn't even notice. And it took me a while to notice it this time. Um, I was walking through the coach and I was like, wait a minute, I didn't even notice that. Anyways big beautiful uh convection microwave oven um that was replaced in 2013 this is an advantum this is a really nice microwave unit um, and convection unit and then again super clean cabinets up top this all this solid wood everywhere all this solid wood all right so our refrigerator is right over here um super clean big refrigerator runs off of gas and um electric or electric and there's an ice maker in it. Um, over here on this little hutch area, we've got this beautiful countertop here. You've got five drawers and look how deep they are too. This bottom one is extra deep, like going down. It's got a good bit of height on it in addition to the depth, which is fantastic. Um, and then right here, you've got a full pantry with these beautiful big slide out drawers that are just absolutely fantastic. You're gonna shut that, 
Love that little pantry. There is an absolute ton of storage in this coach. Now right here, I just wanna go over it real quick. We've got our main control center here. Um, you've got the control for your Oasis. It does have engine preheat as part of the Oasis. Then you've got the control for your 2000 watt inverter right here. And then you've got your sensor tank, tank monitoring. And then you've got uh, a little controller from the uh, uh, surge guard. If there's a surge or something is wrong, it'll tell you right there. By the way, while we're talking about electronics, this has the Intellitech electronic control system shared with Country Coach. Really, really high-end, well-made um, control system, and there's places that will work on them too if you ever have issues. So it's nice having that switching system and multiplex system. Now right over here, we've got our dinette. Um, and I'm trying to nitpick. Look at the flaw I'm nitpicking, all right? This tiny little piece of ware. Oh my gosh, it's a deal killer. Deal killer, folks. That's like the only flaw really I can nitpick on all the upholstery. Um, unless I'm forgetting something or you bring a freaking magnifying glass. But if you bring a magnifying glass, I'm kicking you out. <laughs> all right, right here, we've got a big, nice dinette. Extremely comfortable dinette. Um, I love these windows. They're flush mounted. They vent out a good bit of space. I love these extra little wall lights here. Oh, I don't have that one on over there. It's bothering me, but oh well. Um, there's extra recessed lighting up here. It's a very well lit coach. Um, extra cabinets up here, very deep cabinets, a lot of storage. And then I love all the extra wood trim work around the slide, which um, the centerpiece of this trim work has the four travel insignia planted right on it, which is super cool. Now let's go ahead and take a step back into the bathroom. This bathroom is really cozy. It's got a good bit of space in here. Uh, I love the feel with all the bamboo wood and then the cherry wood. It just looks really nice feels really nice. We've got another one of those accent trim pieces up top here. And then you've got, I love how these lights are kind of wrapped in these leather pieces. It's really interesting actually. Big countertop with the extra space around it. Porcelain sink, designer faucet, mirrors, a lot of space around here. Well-built uh, wood. There's outlets in this cabinet here so you can keep things plugged up and in the cabinet, which is actually pretty smart. You can keep your toothbrush in there instead of having it on the countertop taking up space. This is actually pass-through storage that I'll go through and you can open it up on the other side in the bedroom. And I love this touch here. They actually put Corian stone around the mirrors here. It's a subtle touch, but it looks really nice. I'll take a step. Um, oh, by the way, a ton of storage down below too. There's more outlets over here and super deep, immaculate carpet in there. A lot of storage space here. Now the shower door, um, you can't get from 4Travel anymore. You can have a custom piece built if you wanted to. It's actually a little more convenient in a lot of ways than the glass door. I will admit that it doesn't look as slick, um, but in all, Honestly, practicality wise, this is much better. You're not worried about it breaking um, and it's much easier to open and close instead of wrangling with those sliding doors, especially those curved sliding doors. Sometimes they can be a little bit of a pain. Big Corian wall shower. I'm not getting in there because we just had it cleaned and the shower is a little wet down there. But um, big Corian walled shower, extremely clean skylight up there. Um, there's a crack in the plastic in the skylight whatever is genuine plastic, it dries up, but there's no water damage whatsoever. It's extremely clean. I love the Corian walls and the sides of the shower is top notch. One other nice touch about this shower is um, you've got Corian uh, soap holders over there. And then also the drain is a much bigger drain. It's actually more of a household style drain with a massive pipe that goes to your um, holding tank. Um, let's go ahead and take a look across the hall here. So right here, you've got very deep storage, adjustable um, shelves there, immaculate carpeting again, pull out hamper, gotta love the hamper. And the hamper is in a perfect location to do laundry because here we've got a washer dryer stack. And there's a nice light up there too, which adds to the general lighting in here. Again, carpet is super clean, just very nice. Let me turn that light off up there. Now, right over here, um, we do have this beautiful shower rack right here, um, which was actually uh, reinstalled since the first time we had this. So that's a nice plus. And then over here, we've got our toilet room. I love this window, okay? I love the leather that goes around the window. Um, there's just something about it that just kind of reminds me of like a yacht or a boat or something. Um, but yeah, super clean walls. By the way, none of the walls have any damage from water or anything like that. This is a garage kept, this is a primo coach. 
Um, anyways, headliner's perfect. We've got an exhaust fan up top. Storage over here. I love the recessed lighting in here. Um, and of course, there's recessed lighting up above my head. This is a porcelain push button flush Dometic toilet. And then I love that they finished this piece down here um, with Corian. It just looks nice. And there's also a vent from your Oasis. And it's just a nice, clean feeling, sort of contemporary feeling bathroom. Um, and I love it. I love this vent out window too, because you can have the window open, rain or snow. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and step into the bedroom. This has a fantastic north-south bedroom. By the way, there's a pocket door that separates the bathroom from the kitchen right after the uh, pantry over there. And then there's a pocket door right here too. So this carpet, I'm about to get my socks wet. It was just shampooed. It was super clean. It didn't even need to be shampooed, but it's nice knowing that it's freshly shampooed before you come pick it up. It's a thick, nice carpet. And what I was mentioning in the uh, slides closed video, uh, it's so quiet in here. I love carpet in a bedroom. Me personally, Kai personally, we kind of almost prefer carpet in the bedroom, but that's a personal preference. North-South bed design. Um, so as you saw with the slides closed, absolutely no problem using the coach with the slides closed. Um, we've got these beautiful little countertops on each side. This amazing, very sophisticated looking, multifaceted wood headboard here. You've got massive storage up top. You've got um, storage on each side here, immaculate carpet again. Um, you've got this nice little headboard. There's recessed lighting up above here. Then there's these dimmable map or reading lights here. And then there's drawers on each side here too. And look how deep these drawers are. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so the leather continues around the windows here. Beautiful wood tops to this accent piece. Wood trim up on the ceiling here. Let's go over there now. On the other side of this bedroom, and yes, there's room for me and Kai to get by each other there, which is impressive. This side is super wide. And then we've got this huge um, wardrobe over here. So you just slide this open. You've got a bunch of extra storage in here. This is a booklet full of service records on the motor coach, um, which is absolutely fantastic. And then over here, you've got all the original manuals, including the original owner's manual from Floor Travel Motor Code. Here's the VIN number to the bus, the model number to the bus, color-coded, labeled, very nice. So really key having that stuff in a coach. A little extra rack down there. Again, very clean carpet. I'm gonna turn these lights off. And you can open this wardrobe from either side here. And uh, over here, we've got this extra, very deep storage actually. Bigger countertop on this side, outlets over there, three drawers, a lot of storage space. And then right here, you've got this huge amount of storage space. Look at all these drawers. And you know, it's funny, these coaches that have less slides actually have more storage inside. Get those, and then you've got three of these deep buds down here. And that's not even going into this pass-through one that's up above. So a plethora of storage. There's a TV right over there. Um, and this is just a very nice, warm, inviting, comfortable bedroom here. Super clean queen mattress. It's just fantastic. Um, this has three zones of Oasis heating. Um, so you can easily keep the coach plenty warm, plenty cool, whatever you want. It's fantastic. Um, the interior of this bus is absolutely amazing. It's so well built. It's in such nice condition. And I feel like after we've walked through it now, you've got a much better perspective of what this coach actually is because pictures are deceiving. Let's go ahead and check out the cockpit and then we're gonna get this on a test drive. But real quick, I don't know if we covered this, the front TV. This has a big, nice Toshiba TV um, up in the front here. And you can hook up a Roku TV or something like that. It's make it smart with no problem, easy to access. And then there's another little accent trim piece up here with the leather um, right above the driver area. So the driver cockpit is amazing and I can't wait to talk about it. So let's go in and take a uh, cockpit. All right, tour. so here is the cockpit. So uh, there is a lot of entrance step uh, space. So when you walk in this coach, there's plenty of space around here. We've got this beautiful Corian lipped um, piece that sort of separates the rest of the floor from the step well. I love that the um, step well cover is actually made out of Corian and not a carpet material. Um, by the way, the upholstery is in such nice shape, especially on these front seats. A lot of times you see a lot of wear on this spot right here, but none of that is happening. 
the cup holders over there for the passenger. Um, we've got nice little window here for the passenger. There's a smidge of fog in this upper part of the window, um, but really not that bad at all. This window is crystal clear, and that's probably the only bit of fog in here. Um, maybe there's one or two other windows that have a minor amount of fog, but not that significant at all. All the main windows are super clear. Um, okay, so cockpit slick, very nice looking design here, plenty of space. And because there's no slide out, you can put that chair way back to create even more entrance way space. Now here is the driver's seat. So first of all, we've got a big, nice leather wrapped VIP steering wheel. You can flash your headlights here, flash your taillights here, automatic controls for the windshield wiper system. Um, and what's really nice about this smart wheel is you can actually set the exact timing in between um, windshield wiper pulses by clicking once and then waiting however long you'd like it to wait in between wipes and then click again and then it sets it exactly where you want it. I absolutely love that feature. It should be more of a feature in cars but only um, on these high-end buses like this. Cruise control is also on the steering wheel. Leather is in perfect condition. Now over to the left here, um, or I should say near perfect, nothing is perfect. Now over to the left here, we've got all our controls um, for the leveling system, starting with that HWH, computerized air leveling. You can manually level the coach. Um, you can also put the coach in raised um, mode if you need to clear something, which is quite convenient. Now right here, we've got controls for the front shades. So these are our privacy shades, and they also double as sun blocking shades. By the way, the coach has a really nice set of blackout shades in the front of the cockpit. There's no curtains. Now this right here is the uh, map lights. Um, which are right above me, and they're actually LEDs. And then over here is how you can lock all the compartment doors and unlock them. These are our docking lights. We've got heated mirrors. You've got a nice little reset button for the HWH computerized leveling, which you rarely ever have to use, but it's kind of nice that they actually gave you a dedicated switch for this. Most times you don't have a switch anywhere. You've got to climb up in the chassis somewhere to get to this. So that is quite nice. And again, a continuation of the practicality um, of this beautiful high-end build. Now these right here are some more outside lights on the bus. Uh, and then up here is that transmission retarder. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five different spots, um, five different levels of slowing down power. You've got a very powerful system with this. It'll slow you down much more powerfully than a lot of other systems out there. And it also lets you fine tune exactly how much stopping power you need. This is something that mostly only Prevo buses have. And then you can turn this retarder off completely if you'd like. Now what's nice about the system is if you have it on and for some reason you are in an emergency situation and you slam on your brakes, your four wheel disc brakes, and you forget to pull this down to add to your stopping power, as long as this is on, it will automatically come on in full strength when you use the brakes. Now over here are all the controls um, for the mirrors. These have those sweet Ramco triple stack mirrors and every bit of them is electric. Now up here is the transmission control for the Allison 3000R. It'll show you what you've selected and it'll also show you what gear you're currently in. You can click these two buttons up and down at the same time to show the fluid level, the oil light or the fluid life and all that stuff and you can manually shift of course. Now this is a nicely designed little cup holder. It's very wide, so it'll fit really any cup. It's made for mugs too, if you wanna put one of those in there. But it also closes like this, so you can fit whatever cup you've got. It's actually on a little magnet system, just very ingenious. Now over here, we've got our headlight switch. I love that it's not the old GM switch, although they still give you the GM switch for the uh, dimming, um, but that switch is just a nice modern kind of piano switch. And there is the gauge cluster. So these were, um, these had an option to have digital glass silver leaf um, gauge cluster, which different pros and cons, of course, it looks pretty nice. Me personally, I quite prefer um, these standard custom gauges that we've got here. And it's gonna be more reliable and less to deal with in the long term. but they look really nice. I just quite like the silver um, sort of brushed aluminum look they've got and you've got every gauge you need. You've got oil pressure, water temperature, um, all the typical gauges, voltmeter, air pressure, um, and then also conveniently, you've got transmission temperature. Now over here, we've got our emergency brake. You've got a nice little outlet right here. You've got a second control 
um, right down here for the step wall cover. So there's a control for the step wall cover right over by the passenger seat, and there's also a control for it right here by the driver. Now this is a button to turn off the automatic traction, traction control. And to the right, um, and actually I honestly don't know what override does. Maybe someone in the comments can tell me or I can look on a forum. I'm not sure what override means. Maybe you have to press two to disengage automatic traction control. But honestly, you never really want to turn traction control off unless you're out in the sand and something stuck or something like that. Which hopefully, hopefully you're never in that situation. Now this is a button um, for your pedal adjustment. The pedals will come in and out. You've also got a battery boost switch which will merge the banks of power. You've got your coach and chassis power banks. And I love that the switch is not a toggle. It's actually just a straight up switch. So you click it and it holds itself there. That is very, very convenient. This has a brand new alternator. But if you're ever in the situation where your alternator goes out, um, you can just click that switch and leave it and you'll be just fine. It's actually very nice. Now up here we've got an upgraded touchscreen Bluetooth head unit for your radio system. Dash air conditioning control and heat. Um, little cubby hole here. Compass, another power outlet. This is where your backup camera is gonna display. And uh, there's all kinds of adjustments for the screen, but this has a total vision um, remote control rear camera. This is what you see on a lot of Prevo buses. So what this does is let you swivel that camera around anywhere you'd like, left, right, you can see the corners of your coach, you can look way back, you've got a long trailer, or you wanna see way back behind you for traffic. And then there's these quick little presets. So it'll go right back to the regular standard position by the click of a button, so you don't have to mess with this. So that is quite convenient. Now this does have side cameras, so you can manually select cameras by clicking this button right here. Then there's a master power switch for the um, total vision camera system. Of course, the vents are all around here, and I love the fact that it's kind of curved around here. It just feels driver focused, and I quite enjoy that. There is a CB radio um, for you CB junkies out there. And um, yeah, the dash is very clean, interesting, nice, low profile. When you got your head up here and you're looking out of the coach, it's just a nice looking layout. We've got those that one piece windshield, which windshield that curves around. And it also has some serious, serious windshield wipers. That is the cockpit. I could probably go on and on about this cockpit, but it's a beautiful cockpit. And uh, this is an incredible place to sit while you drive this custom made travel ride, eight airbag suspension that handles only like a four travel bus. Let's go drive. All right, so uh, Kai and I have just been hanging out talking uh, casually, nothing to do with the RV, just hanging out. Although I started saying, oh my gosh, it's so easy to drive. It's so nice to drive. And it really is, it's extremely stable. Those eight outboard mounted airbags um, really contribute to a very stable ride. Minimal side to side sway in it. And it, it's very easy. I mean, this is a full wide body coach, but you just place it and it, it makes the lanes feel wider than they are. And that is like a dream come true to an RVer. It's the thrill to drive this. I, mean, I wouldn't even say a thrill, it's just relaxing and enjoyable. Now the transmission retarder is epic. So again, coming around this corner, no sway whatsoever coming on this exit. Just gonna start slowly engaging that transmission retarder. I'm on level two. Pull it all the way down to full stop mode. I have not touched the brakes at all yet. And there we are. Now I'm going to have to use the throttle to get up to this light. <laughs> it's pretty quiet. I can hear the engine a little bit, um, but it's pretty quiet. Wind noise was almost non-existent. Did you... We're gonna get back on the highway here in just a second, so uh, bear with us. Although I do want you to see me go around this because this right here is a negative banked left-hand corner. So it's sloping to the right and the corner goes to the left. Uh, so this is really a huge test of how much a bus will sway um, when you turn around it. So we're about to hit this as soon as the light turns in about a million years. All right, here we go. Finally got that green light. It's um. About 3022, year 3022, and look at that, just like no sway. Um, we're going on this exit ramp. I'm going about, what am I doing? 25 miles an hour, just swinging it. You can see how much turn. My water bottle was on the floor, it just rolled. The thing is flat. 
Yes, this is a little positive banked, but it's pretty insane. All right, we get on the power now. I cut this truck off. He's trying to get in front of me. That's right. I got plenty of power, baby. 45, 50 miles an hour. Oh my gosh, yes. 55 miles an hour. And it's a dense, heavy chassis. We're at 60 miles an hour now. 65 miles an hour now. A Honda Pilot thought he was going to pass me. Wow, it's so stable. Not even 41,000 miles on the clock. We've got turn signal cameras. The cameras are mounted in the, in the mirrors. These are triple stack mirrors, so I've got two blind spot mirrors and one magnification. Most RV mirrors only have two. This has three mirrors. They're all adjustable. And, they're, and the signal light also pops up. There's multiple side lights, and there's also a side marker light that comes on when you indicate in the mirror, so better visibility for that guy sitting next to you when you indicate you need to get over. Here we go. Full transmission retarder. We're at 50, 45, 40, 35. And this is a downward sloping exit ramp. 25, all the way down to 20. I haven't touched the brakes. 15 miles an hour. There it is. Very fun to use, very satisfying. Now, one thing that this coach has up its sleeve, it has many things up its sleeve, but one thing I haven't mentioned up until this point, this coach has disc brakes all around. Not just the front wheels, but the dualies also have disc brakes. Huge plus, and the brakes feel phenomenal. They're phenomenal brakes. But the thing is, you don't have to use them. You've got a powerful transmission retarder right over here. You barely have to use them. Um, and that's part of the reason that contributes to that 18,000 pound tow capacity. You may have a strong enough coach and chassis, but do you have strong enough brakes? This coach has well above strong enough brakes, let me tell you. Um, and the chassis is so strong, wind noise is absolutely whisper quiet. Anyways, I'm gonna sit here and wear my voice out and waste your time talking about how much I love this driving experience, but all I have to say is the driving experience is pretty close to being what I would call a bespoke experience, something you're only gonna get from a bus just like this, another four travel coach or this particular four travel coach. And the thing about this particular four travel coach, it's low miles, it was garage kept, it was well maintained, all right? Those are the big things. Cosmetically, it's extremely clean. Fundamentally, it's rock solid. And it was built very well, their own chassis, I can't speak enough. I'm, I, I love old school buses. Kai and I just went out and did a trip in a 2003, 43 foot tag axle Monaco executive. Same thing, I fell in love with it. it just, there are things about these older buses that you can't get. There's no options anymore. There are no options anymore for this kind of frame and this kind of bus. You can get similar things that look the same. You can get a similar floor plan. You can, well, I don't know actually, but you could get a similar, seemingly similar coach, 400 horsepower, 450 Cummins, whatever, one of those new Mar new airs. But from a fundamental perspective, how the frame was built on this and how it feels going down the road and just everything from the gauges, how they were built to the switches, to the transmission retarder, to the features, to the finish, to the build quality, the outside skin being that thick fiberglass instead of rollout material, the semi monocoque chassis, four airbags per axle, steel brakes all around, rotors. You just can't find anything. Um, anyways, that is going to conclude this video. This is an insane coach. We're gonna go ahead and conclude the video. Please call, text me if you want to uh, make a move on this bus. There are really not a lot of these coaches available. Um, and in the condition this one is in, with the miles it's got, look, I'm one of those guys, I don't really care about miles. It's more about condition to me really than anything else because these things can go hundreds of thousands of miles very easily. But this one um, with low miles, it, it really is a strong suit and the market loved low miles. And also it just, everything is in really good shape. But um, yeah, look at this window is so cool. The fact that it wraps around that far. It's a great bus. Somebody's gonna get a really, really great bus, okay? It's uh, quite special, but uh, y'all have a good day. I, I can't let the video go because I just want to say so much. I want to profess my love to this bus. Anyways, y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like. We'll catch you all in the next one.